big love, big longing, rejection, success, ascension, disappointment. It's a story about a young runner named Oya, and it's basically her journey through like womanhood, starting from her being in high school and her going through life and dealing with opportunities that arise and then loss of opportunities and then finding love and then losing love and just how she learns to be resilient through all the things that life hands her. But it's set in this kind of like mystical country area in Louisiana and pretty much there's a girl named Oya and she's this amazing athlete, like this generational talent from this town where barely anyone gets out. This is the show that I was most excited to work on for this season. I really love Terrell Avin McCraney's work, and I love the story in particular out of his like brother-sister cycle. And so I was really excited to come onto the team and to be a part of this process. This play is driven by heightened language, and yet we're in an urban environment. This is written by a young queer black man who was in the process of finding his way in the world, as we all are, <laughs> no matter who we are. And it is now being given voice and is being embodied by young people who are on that and other journeys. I could see myself in almost every character that was written and just how they're all so multifaceted. They can go from being joyful in one section or one scene and then going from like being angry and like having to deal with grief. I think it was just a slice of life put into a play, if I can like say it simple like that. And also there's, you know, there's a lot of good people here. There's a lot of people here who are well-versed in their craft, who know more than I do. But also there's people here that are willing to listen and to address their shortcomings, which is a big part of um, why I came here as well. I was very blunt about what I wanted in terms of diversity, and they delivered on their end. You know, I, I, I had my syllabi, kinda. I had my curriculums, kinda. I sorta knew what a lesson plan was, but I have had to learn on my feet in real time, rise and fall, in front of my students, but they appreciate that what I will always come to them with is the truth as I know it to be and as a co-learner. But I think being in Iowa City forced me to take a breath and to like start to be more present with things that are happening, really connecting with nature, which is something I've always wanted to do. And I feel like the trees here and just the wind and things, it's very calming to me. So I feel like Iowa City has given me a chance to sit with myself really and breathe and take in everything that's around me, take in more people. Our gig, if you will, is to bear witness, is to bear witness, to hold space for, and to see an, an entirely new way of a play being presented, of storytelling being transmitted and transmuted to an audience, to a community. I guess I just kind of hope it opens their eyes to this whole other section of like theater that's available in there for them. This is a story that's centered around black people and like the black community, but I don't think it's just a story for us. I think you can come and see parts of yourself in it. Like we follow our lead character who like is at this point in her life where she has to make these decisions that are going to affect her. And I think that that's something that everyone can relate to. Come with a sense of curiosity. It's not gonna be like something you've seen here before. It's gonna be in the round, it's gonna be different. The subject matter, you know, some of it is funny, but also some of it is more serious. So just come prepare to digest something and, you know, to be educated and entertained. It is my honor to bring this play to Iowa City audiences.